Hello and welcome to the bonus tutorial in this exterior modeling and rendering tutorial series. Uh, I just wanted to add something to the series that was lacking. After I uh, watched this photo, I saw that the sky is a little bit darker than the entire image. I would like to make the sky a little bit brighter. In order to do this, I'm going to use the alpha channel method which means that I'm going to export from 3D Studio Max an image where only the sky is white and everything else is black. And then I'm going to import it into, th into Photoshop and use it as a mask. So the changes that I make will affect only the sky. This is a little bit difficult to understand at first, but I'll show you step by step so I think you'll get it. So let's go back to the final file which we created for this exterior rendering. Now what I want to do is I want to capture the sky only. So I'm going to disable the light sources in my scene, one and two light sources. I'm going to click on on to turn it off and same thing with this light source. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to render setup and I'm going to disable the GI the global illumination because I don't need it the only thing I need is the alpha channel of the sky so I disable the global illumination in order to save time next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the threshold much higher which will make the image much more spotty and dotted but or noisy if you like but that doesn't matter because I only need the alpha channel and it will make the rendering much much faster so I'm going to make it a open oil 015 and same thing here 0.015 85 again these are the noise values the higher they are the more noise I have in the image but it doesn't matter for uh, now minimum sample the lower this value is the higher the noise is so again it doesn't matter and minimum subdivision and maximum subdivision the lower these values are the more noise I have in my image again does not matter now I'm going to render this image out. It's supposed to be whole black image, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the, the reason it's black is because we don't have light sources in my scene. So now it doesn't matter because I only need the, not the RGB color channel, but the alpha channel. And as you can see, everything is white except for the sky. The reason for this is that uh, the alpha channel picks up all the objects in the scene and makes them white and all the non-objects which are this area here, the sky area, are black. So we get an alpha channel here that we're going to use in Photoshop in order to change the sky only. So now I'm going to save this image only, the alpha image, by pressing on the save current channel and I'm going to save it, uh, let's call it alpha channel sky I'm going to save it as a JPEG and let's go into Photoshop uh, here I'm going to open the file I just saved alpha channel sky this is our sky channel now let's go back to our rendering now I want to select only the sky and change it using the level modifier as you see in, in the previous tutorial, the levels modifier is going to make the image brighter or darker or more contrasted, things like that. I want this modifier, the levels, to affect only the sky. Now, if you look here, you have a square here. This square represents the mask, which means it's a whole white now, which means the whole image will be affected. Uh, if I go inside this mask by pressing and holding alt and pressing on the mask you will see the mask itself the mask is whole white now I want this level uh, modifier to affect only the sky so I'm going to copy this image here select the whole image click control C for copy go back here into the mask and hit control V to paste now as you can see in the small square here all which is white will be affected by this leveling uh, modifier and all which is black will not be affected. 
So if I go back by pressing on this modifier icon, let's choose the select tool and click somewhere outside the image to deselect everything. And now if I play with the level modifier, you can see that it affects only the objects in the scene and not the sky. I need it the other way around. The reason it affects only the objects is because it has a mask. Alt go inside the mask, Alt click, left click on the mouse to go inside the map. It affects only the white areas. Now I want it to affect only the sky, so I'm going to invert this mask. Control, hit Control I to invert the mask. So everything that was white becomes black, everything that was black becomes white. So now this uh, level modifier will affect only the sky. Let's go back to the modifier. And now I'm going to take this upper value down to make it brighter. So now I can play with the sky brightness. Let's take this center value and take it down a little bit to make the darker areas brighter also, like so. Maybe just less of this. So take it up here and a little bit like so a little bit more so this value when you take it down makes the brighter areas brighter this value when you take it up makes the darker areas darker and this value in the center when you take it uh, to the left it makes the uh, image itself more washed out so less contrasted so the brighter areas will be uh, the same and the darker areas will get brighter so if I play with this, it becomes a whole white at some point. So I want to make it something like 1.3. And take this down to 180 to make it brighter. Maybe 200, not 180. This is fine. And make it 1.5 maybe. To make the skies much brighter. So if I want to see the image before I made this modifier, I can hit the eye icon here. And as you can see, it was much darker than uh, before I made the changes. So now we have a bright sky that correlates with our image here. So when you want to make changes to the sky or uh, uh, the, the areas in the image in 3D Studio Max that don't have uh, objects in them, you just export an alpha channel into Photoshop and you can make changes using this mask layer here. So you can make it just a bit brighter, 1.55, like so. So I think this looks much better. Let's go to history and see. This one is the beginning. And now our skies is are much brighter that correlates with these bright spots here on the building itself. You can also use this method method to essentially change the sky. So if you want to uh, import another sky in the scene to replace this sky, you can go to, uh, let's go to the internet and search for sky. Go to images. And you have images of skies here. Let's just, for the sake of the example, let's download this sky image here. Save image as. Let's save it. And let's go back to Photoshop. Now, let's say I, I don't like the sky color. I, I really do, but if I would like to change it, what I do is I open the sky I just downloaded. And I select all of it hit Control c for copy. Now let's back, go back here. Let's click on this modifier and flatten image. I want to flatten back to one layer. Now I want to change this sky to the new sky I just uh, imported. So let's hit Control v on this image to paste the sky that I copied. It created a new layer here, which is above the background. Now I want to take it below the background. I can't do this because the background is locked, which means it will always be the first layer. I can unlock it by double clicking on it and let's call it background. And now when it's not locked, you can take the sky layer beneath it. Now the sky is still the same sky from before. I want to add a mask 
to this background layer, which will tell the Photoshop to use only the information from the objects and uh, make this sky information transparent so that we can see beneath it to this sky layer here. Let's double click on the name and rename it to sky. In order to add a mask, I uh, go to the layer which I want to add the mask to. I hit this icon here, which is the mask icon. And as before in the modifier, you will see a square here that represents the mask. Now, let's go to the alpha channel here. I'm going to control C to copy it. It's already selected. If it's not selected, just select it again and control C to copy. Go back here, go inside the mask we added to the background layer using the Alt key and left click on the mouse and control V to paste the mask that I want to use. Now, this is uh, the right mask for this image. Now, the mask will tell this layer, the background layer, to only take the information which is in the white areas and make the information in the black area uh, completely transparent. So if I go back here now, you can see that this layer, the sky is transparent and I can see to the layer beneath it, which is the sky layer. I can move it, only the sky layer. I can uh, take it down. And as you can see, you can place a new sky as a replacement to, uh, replacement to the old one. So this is uh, the way that uh, masks and alpha channel works in 3D Studio Max and Photoshop. So I'm not going to use this sky mask, so I'm going to right click and delete it, delete the layer, and I'm going to right click on the mask and delete layer mask, because the sky here is very, very nice, so I'm going to use this one. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial series.